Howdy folks. In this video, I am going to show you one possible solution to the error, the volume does not contain a recognized file system. So this may uh, help you, but it will not help if the file system is actually corrupted, you know, file table scrambled or something like that. What this will help with is if the issue is with your Windows installation and it is just having some, uh, you know, corruption or errors that won't let it recognize an otherwise valid file system. So let's get started. Hopefully this will work for you. Uh, you're going to click on your start button in the lower left hand corner. Type in the letters CMD like Charlie Mary Douglas and you'll get command prompt as an option. Now you can either click here where it says run as administrator or if you don't see that you can right click on the command prompt option and choose run as an administrator. If the user account control um, prompt comes up you want to click on yes and you will then see the possibly familiar uh, black command prompt box from good old DOS days. And in here, you want to type in SFC space and a forward slash and then scan now and then hit enter. Right? A scan of your system will begin. As it warns, this process will take some time because it's got to check through all your system files. Uh, you know, uh, actual times will vary depending on the speed of your disk and your system and the processor, etc. But um, essentially, uh, once it's done, if it has found any errors, it should uh, prompt you to restart your computer. Um, irregardless, even if it doesn't prompt you, um, if it if it uh, notifies you that some errors have been found and repaired, go ahead and restart your computer. And hopefully that will be all you need to uh, bypass that error. Um, this, by the way, is also a great way to fix other issues that can come up uh, with your system because the Windows, uh, all the Windows files are being checked to make sure that they're the right version, uh, that nothing's corrupted them or copied over them, etc. So um, it's a general troubleshooting tip as well as a specific one. So hopefully uh, this will be the solution to your problem. If you find another solution, please mention it in the comments because uh, that's always great for other people who are trying to solve their problems. And I thank you for watching. Please subscribe.